Hello everyone and welcome back. Today's video is bringing back an absolute classic on the Zotic that has fell off people's radar, but for some reason has just got another buff. The Severance Enclosure is a powerhouse when used correctly and can send targets into the stratosphere with enough strength by the user's build. Now the Zotic will trigger a chain reaction explosion onto other targets as well, which is kind of bonkers. So now we're going to use that explosion and build even more explosion into the build for a bigger explosion. Using this will not only grant you an unhealthy level of explosion to use, but you'll also get a healthy gem and O shields to use, increased damage via volatile rounds, and increased reasoning to use finishers more often, and ultimately more fun than the game can handle. I don't know why this was buffed, but we'll just roll with it for now. Starting with the aspects, you want to have offensive bulwark, where upon having an overshield, your grenade charge faster, you have increased melee range and damage, and melee final blows extend the duration of overshields. Then you want controlled demolition, where hitting a target with void abilities or volatile explosion makes them volatile. Further damaging the target that is volatile causes them to explode and grant health to you and your allies. As Severn Enclosure relies on finishers or charge melees to work, it allows users to build around the setup how you like, as you're not limited down to just one ability. Utilizing your grenades to feed back into your melee and vice versa will provide a bigger payoff towards activating your abilities fast, while also making sure that your stats on the lower end don't feel left out. The fragments used are Echo Cessation, where finisher final blows creates a burst of void damage that causes nearby targets to become volatile. Echo of Instability, where defeating targets with grenades grants volatile rounds. Echo Explosion, where Void Ability Final Blows causes targets to explode, and Echo Provision, where damaging targets with grenades grants melee energy. You don't need to go far when using the following build, since a lot of the key items are going to be available once our aspects kick in. Although our melee is what we should focus on the most, we have multiple ways of triggering our effects, such as Echo of Cessation Finishers causing more of explosion at once, or using Volatile Rounds with Pulse of Brace, to activate OB, etc. With the amount of ways to become volatile, you won't be tied down to just the MIDI like you normally would see. So luckily, the build is flexible in every way possible in terms of what you want to do. For the mods and stats, the main stat to invest in will be resilience and discipline. Resilience at tier 8 will grant us a 24% damage reduction while also granting us a fast way of getting overshield once offensive bulwark is in place. Reaching a tier 10 is also recommended for a 30% damage reduction and faster bio-k regen time frame, but only go towards this if you can keep your discipline at tier 10 as well. For discipline, we have ours at tier 10 for a 53 second cooldown of via magnetic grenades. Although this is still quite high for a medium range grenade, the following is handy for its double explosion effect for more damage build up, and is ease of use with how sticky it can get. To help support the stat, I have added the Grenade Kickstart mod for a 34.4% grenade regen on a times 4 armor charge, and with offensive bulwark effect of giving us grenade energy upon having overshields, we should be good enough to flex this build out from there. It is also recommended that you invest some mods into your MIDI as you will be actively using it as well, just not on the same scale as grenades. Tier 4 strength will give us a 1 minute 23 second shield throw, which can be reduced further via momentum transfer, giving us a 12%, absolution giving us a 5%, and outreach giving us a 12% once all are active. This should be enough to support the stat without the need of an extra kickstart mod or specific weapon perk, etc. The next section now covers the additional mods and armor charges we are using. For armor charges, we have charged up times 1 for increasing the amount of armor charges we can hold, while also having stacks and stacks to increase the armor charges collected from 1 to 2. Then we have Harmonic Siphon, Powerful Attraction, and Reaper to not only create orbs of power, but also make it easier for us to collect them. And then lastly, we have Heavy Ammo Finder, Scavengers, and Reserves mod, designed for allowing us to use our heavy more often. Now for weapons, we have the Age Orb Bond AR with Repulsive Brace and Golden Tricon, which is ideal for the build like ours that uses volatile rounds a lot. For the build, you want to make sure your offensive bulwark aspect is working as planned, and outside of our barricades, you'll need to have the ability to create overshields on demand. 
I have found that the following weapons with repulsive place will help us a lot in generating grenade energy over the given time our overshields last. And from there, it will lead back into our medium and class ability region as well, while also giving us the chance to reactivate the echo instability fragment again and repeat. It's a self providing build that will do a lot of the heavy lifting for the user as long as you give it the required perks it needs. For heavy, we have the Leviathan's Breath, which is perfect to use against all sorts of bosses because of the high damage threshold and the flinch factor it can provide. Although slow and cumbersome, using this with Wild of Radiance or Bubble Build is going to be ideal for making all your shots count, but also benefiting the user's time and effort. As the weapon also sets off a miniature explosion upon hit, I thought pairing it with the following would make it a good combo for everyone to use, including when you apply volatile rounds to a given weapon. Now we have covered Severance pretty much multiple times since the day it was released, and it is an absolutely fun and versatile exotic to use in all content no matter their difficulty, as its capabilities of ad clearing room or just launching targets to the stratosphere can be game changing. Personally, I do not understand why this exotic got buffed again, as it was already in a good, decent place to start with. However, the Aladon Chain Reaction Explosion that can be triggered from one enemy to another is just borderline insane, but I'm not complaining. In fact, this just makes me love the exotic even more for its simple yet wacky design. The following build we have gone for combines the already explosive nature that Void Titan has to offer via the volatile debuffs, but applying 7 to the mix is like attaching an infinite amount of nukes to a Titan's hand and telling them to go have fun. It's dumb, but it works extremely well. Not only will the build be launching targets into the air and making them vulnerable, but it will also make them volatile as well, which from here we can then wipe them out or get an overshield for ourselves via our uses of barricades or a weapon that has repulsive brace on it. This will feed back into our abilities over and over again, so in many ways everything within a kit will be explosive and provide some level of usage no matter the type of situation you are in. The severance is what I like to call a passive exotic that is always active in the background and can be used whenever the user like, or with or without a charged melee, or you can just use your finisher to apply its effects the best. Its simplicity allows you to carry it towards endgame content including GMs if you wish, as the following build as an example provides extra ways to increase damage, provide health and shielding, and super is versatile on all platforms. This build is going to be key for those who don't care so much about damage and DPS phases, but rather want to team support and keep everyone alive as long as possible. Using this in GMs, dungeon, raids, and even PvP is where this sort of build will excel the most at, but honestly, with how passive the exotic is, it can be used however and wherever you like. So there we have it, I hope you all enjoyed the build breakdown. If you have any thoughts on content shared then please leave a comment below at the same time. If you enjoy the content and want more of these videos in the future then leave a like and a sub while here. I will leave a dim link for the build below. If you want more stuff like this then I have a playlist available covering all types of builds you desire. It was great sharing today's video with you all and I hope to see you again soon.